Okay, welcome everyone. On this video, we will talk about the density property of real numbers. So, the density property of real numbers states that between any two real numbers, there is another real number. Of course, this property works for real numbers, but this property is not true for natural numbers or integers. Because when you choose consecutive numbers such as one, oops, sorry about it, I forget to change the pen, yeah, that's better. One and two, there is no integer between one and two, there is no integer or natural number. Of course, there are infinite of real numbers. So, we will solve some examples about this property. Find a real numbers between each pair of numbers. These numbers, what numbers lies between three whole one over eight and three whole two over eight. So if you remember, we, there is a midpoint uh, property. So how can we calculate midpoint in 8th grade? So we will use this rule. How we find it? We add this 2 number plus 3 whole 1, uh, sorry, 2 over 8. Then we will divide it by 2. So give, this gives us the middle number between these two numbers. So 8 times 3, 24, plus 1, 25 over 8, so same idea, 8 times 3, 24, plus 2, 26, so plus 26 over 8, then divided by 2, so 51, 25 plus 26 is 51 over 8, then divided by 2, this is equal 51 over 16, so 51 over 16 is equal 3 whole, so f oh, 3 over 16. So 3 whole, 3 over 16 is between 3 whole 1 over 8 and 3 whole 2 over 8. Okay, let's continue. Let's find a real number between 4 Point one four and twenty nine point seven. I will use same idea. I will calculate the middle number between these two. So how can I do it? Four point one four plus twenty nine over seven divided by two. So four point four one four. So I can make it fraction. So four hundred fourteen over hundred plus twenty nine over seven. Then divided by 2. Of course, sorry, I can simplify 414 uh, over 100, so it will become 207 over 50 plus 29 over 7, then divided by 2. So you need to equalize this denominator, so I can enlarge that one by 7 and that one by 50, 7 times 207, 7 times 7, uh, 49, then 4, then 14, over 7 times 0, 0, 7 times 5, 35, plus, so, let's put this 0 here, 5 times 9, 45, 5 times 2, 10, 140, so over 350, then divided by 2. Let's continue the, uh, this is order of operation after then you can solve it on your own. When you add this to it makes 2,899 over 350 divided by 2. So that's equal 2,899 over 350 multiplied by 1 over 2. 2,899 over 700. I can say that one. This is equal a 4 whole. So 4 whole 99 over 700. So this number is between these two. 4.40 and 29 over 7. We can say that 4 whole 99 over 700 is between these two numbers. I want to show more examples about that one. That's an easy one. For example, 
Let's make them fraction 5 times 3, 15, 17, 17 over 5, and 5 times 3, 15, 18 over 5. Add them, divided by 2. 35 over 5, then divided by 2, 7. 7 divided by 2 is equal 7 over 2, or you can say 3.5. So 3 whole 2 over 5 and 3 whole uh, 3 over 5 we get the number 3.5 is between these two numbers. So what numbers is between minus 1 over 10 and 0? Let's add them and divide it by 2. Same idea. Let's come to negative 1 over 10 divided by 2. So negative 1 over 10 multiplied by 1 over 2, negative 1 over 20. So negative 1 over 20 is between negative 1 over 10 and 0. Let's go on. That's the last example I want to show uh, about this section. This is very important example. So one of them is a rational number, the other is irrational number. I can still continue with the midpoint theory. So I can continue 4 plus squared of 19 then divided by 2. So I can say that this is equal 4 plus square root of 19 and divided by 2. So these numbers is between, I'm sure about it, this is a number and it's between 4 and square root of 19. This is the first one, how can we get a number? But of course that's a square root number. So I can use square of the numbers to calculate new, uh, new numbers. Oops. So how can I do that one? Let's think about the number line. So 4 is here. Let's say square root of 19 here. This is our number. So if I find the number squared, so 4 squared is 16. Number squared, so 4 squared is 16. Square root of 19. Square of this square root of 19 is 19. So what numbers I have here? Let's think about integers between 16 and 19. I have 17, 18. So I can tell you square root of 17. So this is n squared, so a number squared is 17, of course, so my number is square root of 17. The number squared is 18, so if I use square root, so I can say here I have square root of 18, so 18 is square root of 9 times 2, 3 times square root of 2. So I can say that square root of 17 is between 4 and square root of 19, and... I can tell you 3 squared of 2 is between 4 and squared of 19. So we can find irrational number. And this is irrational number because there is a squared of 19. That easily. Okay, that's the end of the video. Uh, between two real numbers, all the time you can find another real number. So we can use midpoint theory. We can add the numbers and divide it by 2. All. Or if there's an rational numbers, we can use square of the numbers and calculate what kind of numbers between this square and calculate the square root of this number. Thanks for watching.